Let's go to, um... Yeah, oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I do anything like this, I want to first try some of the stuff here. Wen... Wenjun. Wenjun, I think. That's her name. Yeah. So, Wenjun. Ground in a fluffy, soft and bouncy jump and bump. Oh my. Guests. Welcome, welcome. And allow me, Wenju, to be the first to wish the two of you a joyous lantern ride. Happy lantern ride, Miss uh, Wenju. You seem to be reciting something just now. What were you talking to yourself about? Uh, considering some delectable dessert? Or perhaps a revolutionary recipe? Not far of the march. Nearly a hole in one. Yeah, I mean, well, uh, it's our job. I was just thinking about the food, the groba, and wigwi. Okay. <laughs> Little way. I'm gonna make. <clears throat> huh? Now, those are names we know. You know groba and wigwi too? <laughs> How could I not? You're looking at one of one means restaurants regulars, you know. Okay, sorry. As long as I'm not on the road, I eat at least seven meals a week at one in restaurant. Okay, well. When paired with my hometown style of cooking, first some lively seasoned fare and a spicy flavor bomb, it's just a smash hit. If I end up with too much heatiness, just need to down some of the ripe meds and flush it right out. And then after a couple of days of recuperating, it's back to George and myself in Chow Town. Yeah, best take it easy though. But, but Paimon also wants to try living like that. Of course, Paimon. Anyway, I get to see Groba and Zhongling pretty much every week. And sometimes even little Yao Yao. When Yao Yao brings Weiwei along to see Zhongling, Groba, uh, along to see Zhongling, Groba and Weiwei end up playing together. It's wonderful. No matter how exhausting work is, just watching them shake and sway is enough to sweep all your chairs away. But I can't be the only one being chewed by Oba and Weiwei. I want everyone to bear witness to their cuteness for themselves. Well said. Now this is something important, but just how do you plan to do it? Unless these things on the table are... Bingo! I just made a paper theater. Between Groba, 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 Groba and Wigwi as the stars. Everything you see here at this stall is a prop for the paper theater. Paper theater? That name sounds like kind of familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, pa uh, theater mechanicus. Is it about the canvas be behind you and watching the shadows on it? You guys may have heard of paper plays, a traditional leeway art form. By artfully using the pictures and lights, you can make the scenes on the screen come to life. I've loved paper plays since I was a kid, and I learned a bit about them from Master Yingong. After I grew up, I became a painter, studying and traveling all over. While I was in Fontaine, I learned a few new dra drawing techniques and a thing or two about filming. I had quite a few spots of, of inspiration too. Nice. So, using Pepper Plays as a basis, as a basis, I tried creating a novel interactive game, and thus the paper theater you see before you was born. Paper theater and paper plays also have very different styles. Paper theater focuses on simple short stories that bring a smile to the audience. So that's why this year's first paper theater will be all about an especially amiable story, Groba and Weirdwe. Looking for ingredients to cook up something delicious together. Groba and Wigwi cooking together? That sounds really interesting. Food and food in one place? Let's go! Looks <laughs> like you two are totally on board. Your excitement is inspiring. Then there's no time to lose. Please just relax and get ready to enjoy this paper theater performance. Uh, uh, Alright. 
um, press the relevant buttons or use the movement keys to consume movement points and get giant boba and wiggly hold the button to move continuously continuously <laughs> the challenge will be deemed a success once all characters have reached the ingredients position all right now each move of the starting point cart or boxes within the stage will be recorded use the recall function to restore the stage layout its previously recorded states can be used three times consecutively. Okay, so um, I guess uh, let's have a go. Welcome, customer. Ready to enjoy another paper theater performances? Performance? Um, about the dish to be made at the end. Oh, so you did notice it. The June chilies were indeed not among the ingredients they gathered in this paper theater production. Oh. Uh, that's because the dish they're making is 8th treasure dutch, a real classic that and not at all spicy. My family is used to food with lighter seasoning, maybe something a bit saltier if we are feeling adventurous, but not fans of the spice. I don't think a person should just stick with the foods they like as a child. Everyone should gradually expand their culinary horizons, find their own tastes and learn to appreciate all kinds of deliciousness. It's a big, big world out there, filled with so many mouth-watering meals. It's good to switch things up, even if for no good reason. Going with something blander first than something spicier can really spike your taste buds sensitivity. So even as I promote the cuteness of Groba and Weirdly, I'm also recommending the A Fresh Dutch. I'll have you know that it goes well with all kinds of dishes. Okay. Um. <clears throat> You've put in some serious work. I won't bother you then. Thanks for your concern. If my paper, paper theater can cheer people up, then exhaustion's no issue. Remember to come back next time. Yeah, but I'm going to try your uh, paper theater. Woo! Please enjoy. Uh. Paper Shadows of Origin, Fragrant Mountain Delicacies. Alright, let's start with this one. The aroma of a valuable thunderous light Matsutachi uh, permeates and blends perfectly with the, the flavors of all manner of ingredients, causing the resultant dish to radiate flavor. Groba is very sensitive to the scent of Matsutachi, unfortunately, his small hands are ill-suited to the task of gathering said shrooms. Let's start. Ooh. Yeah, I remember that. I remember. So, let's see. So I have... So I have to get the mods to touch it, right? Um... Well, this this is, seems easy, right? Global obtain the key ingredients. Yeah, that's it. I I want to know. I want to know if I could have done this with uh, less points used. Oh, so you only need to do it once. There's no. Uh, challenge for completing it with uh, less points used well um okay <laughs> okay um wandering foul warm and cool you've heard that wait the cooling properties of aquatic of avian meat can land a unique flavor to dishes and that is also the highest pr priority of this dish. You've heard that Yuegui has learned the tricks of processing aquatic birds by watching Yao Yao assist others in the kitchen. Let's start. Uh, this time, when Guoba and Yuegui leave the starting point cart, 
The areas they pass through will be marked. Marked areas will be deemed noticeable. Uh huh. Returning along the marked path will restore moves consumed. Uh, touch the key to release the corresponding lodge. If you cannot reach the key, try pushing boxes or some other method. I see. Um. How to do this? This is going to be more than five points. Okay, okay, so now I can retrace my steps and go straight to that. <laughs> okay, well, um, fair. <laughs> I didn't understand, so I had to move the parts and then go back. Uh, so, for the rewards, so we're getting some uh, fragments, right? And we are getting also some festive fe fe festive fever. All right, I'll get it. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, sealed flavors of the sea. So what does that say? The flavor locked within various forms of seafood can grant all manner of layered flavors to a dish, making for fine meals to remember. Groba has amassed quite a store of knowledge on how to catch fish from following Jean Lin to capture fresh crabs. Now, if only there was a fishing rod or net purpose built for his, for his use, that would be lovely indeed. Okay, so we're catching fish now. Um, alright. So, I need to get the key first. <clears throat> um... So I have to do the least possible moves. So let me let me let me see. <clears throat> How do you do this? So I have six. And if I go out of the cart, uh, this would be five. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> I, I don't know how the cart <laughs> is moving the key, but 
Um, okay. Fair enough. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's move on to the next. Interesting, to say the least. Um, so this is done. Alright. There's only one left. I mean, one left until... Until the rest, right. So, smoky savoriness. Ham has a unique texture with the salty fragrance contained within titillating the taster's taste buds. Titillating the tester's taste buds. <laughs> that's a... Uh, that's an alteration if I ever seen one, saw one. Uh, titillating the taster's taste buds. Ham has a seat at the table of cuisines, both mild and spicy. They say that both Groba and Wei are fond of this ingredient. Start. Uh, press the portraits, portrait or use the number keys to switch the character you are controlling. In stages where Wei and Groba are both present, you must guide them both to the ingredients position for the challenge to be deemed a, su a success. Hmm. Okay, um... Wade Reed cannot move, so uh, let's go back. Yeah. Oh, okay, right. So let's do this. Too difficult to be honest, but I mean, right now, at the very least. So, all right. Now, uh, eight treasured flavors. Let's do this. The ingredients and spices have been chopped into many pieces, boiled and seasoned. Se yeah, seasoned before being mixed together to make the stuffing. Thus. Constituting the eight treasures. Neither Groba nor Weiwei is particularly good at using kitchen knives, so some extra ingredients should be prepared in advance. Okay, now let's see. I think I understand. At least I think, obviously. Um, right, now let's do this. Let's change to where we let's push this. something wrong here. Wait, let's retrace my steps here. Hmm.
Okay. Um. Now. I'm going here. And then. There. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that bad. <laughs> uh, so the reward for that. Okay. So this is the eight treasure flavors. Then, intricately stuffed. Um, the bone, the bones, aquatic birds, are used as a vessel into which, into which rich ingredients are poured before being tied down tightly with twine such that a special coaching process may be used. Since Groba and Wigri are making this dish for themselves, some extra hands in order, so that they, who are customer and chef both, will be satisfied. Let's go. Next step. <clears throat> Okay, so first I need to do this. Go back. Um. going on ah uh, okay okay I see um okay uh as for Boba there you go Challenge completed. Groba and Weiwei were together to process the ham. And it seems that I cannot go any further. At least it seems like it. Yeah, because it's <laughs> this one unlocks in one day. So, uh. And this, at least for now. Uh. How many more are there? Three more. And these ones are locked in one day. Alright, so, um. I, uh. The <laughs> uh, Reds and Right Festival is. unbelievable. Missing poster. Looking for a missing young female. Has blonde hair, wears exotic clothes. Any information assistance is greatly welcome. Yeah. I mean, definitely this is a 
something that is quite good to us. If you have any information, please approach your nearest military soldier or report the matter directly to the Minister of Civil Affairs. Thank you. Uh, Any time now, before uh, these posters <laughs> actually work for some reason. That now. Yeah, man. Oh, wait, 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 wait a sec. I can get those now. Philosophies of prosperity. I have four of them. Alright. So I have 300 festive fever. Alright. So, uh, Jia Xing. It seems that I talked to you earlier, but now you have something to tell me. Yo, happy lantern ride, my dude and dudettes. Oh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry. <coughs> Yo, happy lantern ride, my dude and dudette. Say, you two wouldn't happen to be the bit shots who came looking for Garmin, would you? I mean, you're just there, uh, you know, a long time ago. We saw you before. You were hanging out with Garmin, right? Totally. Hot. Diggity, you remember me. My not some fire! I heard you two are the best of the best, and there ain't nothing you can't do. I pop on over to Ch Chihu Rock to buy groceries every day, and even though it's so close by, I still always hear people singing your praises along the way. <laughs> That's right, we are the criminal crowd. Hey, hey! I don't do that stuff besides eating too. <laughs> Wait, I probably want to think for a moment. What else is she good at? Flying? Streaming? Uh, I don't know. And sometimes you're smart. You're transport, you're John Fatigue, you're like a child. And I have some suspicions about you, but I'm not going to say anything else. I've got it. Can ordinary people float? You're so white and light and fluffy, like a pigeon adapters, no? Wow. Paimon has so many nicknames, that's crazy. Flying alone. <laughs> Flying alone is amazing. I mean, it should be super easy to carry stuff. It makes work cinch. It should help your friend more. Jasp! You're a pigeon adapters, Paimon? It's just nowhere where it's even possible for a Pigeon to turn into an Adeptus for now. Pamela just wants to point out that she's always been helping Lemul. For example, if Lemul falls from a really high place, Pamela will grab onto him and make sure the fall is too, f f too painful. Really? When did that happen? Uh, even though Pamela's not strong enough to actually do much lifting, if Pamela really was a Pigeon Adeptus, Give him a little boost while she, he's using the wind light, wind lighter, and help him fly high and farther. Yeah, why why don't you do that though? Paimon the pigeon adeptus. You two, you two got to practice more. It's like when I practice wushu gaming. The more you practice, the better you work together. Report it ain't easy to build. It just so happens, I treat a fresh new game, heart of the press. It's called just wushu dance. Wanna have a go? Not only can you work on your teamwork, you can learn all about wushu dance. Just wushu dance? Would I have it to be talking about the big old doll nets you right? Bingo! Authentic wushu dance is downright devilish to learn. Even if you've got a pro wushu showing you the ropes, you won't be able to stick with it unless you love it and have got the perseverance to match. So? I changed the rules for one style of wushu dance, switched out some props and boom, this game was born. And it's also lantern right now, you know? Yeah. Perfect for helping everyone enjoy themselves and work up an appetite or work off the extra calories. Just put on your just put on your dancing shoes. Well, the dancing outfit and see who can grab the most deep breaks. Can dance and bump all over the shop, it's a hoot and a half. It sure sounds fun, but Paimon doesn't think she's strong enough to wear such a big outfit and play with each other. But Lumos is really good at games like this. <laughs> you 
Betcha. Pylon will watch and learn from the sidelines first. Bring it, I'm dancing king. Ter terrific. <laughs> oh, the puns. The puns. The bad puns. Terrific. <laughs> Those tea cakes will be a piece of cake. Bring it, I'm the dancing king. Huh? Finch and Adeptus, will you not personally participate? A pity. Ah, uh -huh, that's not a problem. Your mom and Paimon will be traveling together for a long time to come. We'll have plenty of chances to level, level up our teamwork. Also, who's to see Paimon won't learn a bunch about working with the mole just from watching? <laughs> you two are so close. I'm starting to get a bit jelly. And please, right this way. Let the dude of legendary dream. <coughs> <clears throat> swallow. Uh, let the dude of legendary deeds step right up and just whoosh or dance. Pipe Pigeon Adeptus, you just sit back and enjoy the show. Uh, enjoy, enjoyful bit in, uh, I can't even speak right now. Enjoyful beasts in the auspices. Uh, you must complete stage objectives within the time limit and score the highest amount of points possible. Press to use your skill and don a special Wushu Dance pu Puppet costume to enter Bumper Wushu Mode and not aside other participants that you come into contact with. When two parties in Bumper Wushu Mode come into contact with each other, both parties will have a Bumper Wushu Mode deactivated. Joyful, beast, joyful Beasts and the Hospices has a total of three stages for players to choose from. Different stage and game mod, game mode rules can be viewed under gameplay details. Uh, Joyful Beast and the Auspices has two gameplay modes. You can invite multiple teammates to play together or match with other players. Four participants are required to start. Joyful Beasts and their Auspices. Right. So um. Yeah. Um. Seems like um. Sound. Joyful beasts and their auspices. Gameplay details. Uh, joyful, joyful beasts and their auspices. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, good things come rolling in. In the Good Things Come Rolling In stage, you need to collect as many Lucky Tea Bricks as possible within the time limit to score points. The Lucky Tea Bricks come in small and large forms, and the latter are worth more points, obviously. Uh, use your bumper washer to knock other participants away. You can also obtain any Lucky Tea Bricks dropped by other participants. A race to the top. In the race of the top to the top stage, the more value you possess, the higher score when the challenge ends. Charge ends. Right. You can uh, use the following methods to gain valor. Gaining and holding on to fortune t bricks staying on the platforms, and using your bumper wish to knock away your other participants. A fortune t brick will appear on the field at intervals, and the first place to pick one up will hold it for a time, during which they will gain valor continuously. If the holder is sent flying by another participant using Bumper Wusho, they will lose said Fortune T Bridge and the one who sent them flying will gain a fixed award. Uh, parts of the field will rise at intervals uh, to turn into benefiting platforms. Stay on these platforms and continuously gain valor. At the same time, you will continuously lose value if you remain in the hazardous areas that appear. To plot good fortune, in the Plant Good Fortune stage, participants start with mildness. Mildness, right? When the challenge starts, participants will be affected by super spicy spirit and continuously lose mildness. When the challenge ends, the more mildness you still have, the higher score will be. To Plant Good Fortune, uh, safe zones will also appear on the field at intervals, and to them to avoid the effects of super spicy spirit. Prosperous tea bricks will appear on the fields at intervals to let them to gain a certain amount of mildness. 
a super spicy wok hay will explode across the challenge area at intervals. You will receive a warning before super spicy wok hay appears. If you are unable to get into the safe zone and avoid the super spicy wok hay shockwave before it hits, you will lose a lot of mildness. Storing rules. Okay, well, I'll see about that. Let's um, let's uh, do a round. Do the legendary deeds. You're positively glowing. It's like you're raring to go. Ready for a round of just wushu dance? How about the props and venue for just wushu dance? Not bad, eh? All the mods were made by yours truly. I added several kinds of special talcum powder, the dance suit, and all gets mixed together when you pull the rope. The mixture releases a bunch of gas, which helps the outfit suddenly stiffen, solid as a rock and proud as a lion. So no matter how much you jump and dance, and all bump and prance, you won't get hurt none. Fun and safety, all in one. The technique's been used on ships for a long time now, you know? Sailors use it to protect cargo. No matter how the waves toss around the boxes, the stuff inside won't get smashed to smithereens. Anyway, as for the venue, I rented it from the shop. A big old anti basement lunch like that, just sitting there and used and wasted. Well, it's sure being put to good use now. The boss of this shop is pretty dope too. Me promoting the Woshu Dance game helps bring in big business, so he didn't ask for much rent. Depending on how things go, maybe I'll even be able to get Garmin over to put on a real show here. Nice. Um. Happy Lantern Ride, don't forget to rest though. No problem. Play hard, eat harder. <laughs> seems like a. It seems like a catchphrase. Yes, I'll have this dance. Mark on, have fun. Will do. Uh, I'd like to get a random play. Yeah, I want to. I want to be. I want to be surprised by what the game will be. Match. Prepare. Sorry. Race to the top. It seems. Ouch. 
like the most participants. I mean, I, I suppose so. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Well, this was a this was a fun one, be sure. Just have to bump everyone. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this was funny. Where's the safe zone? Oh, oh. Right. Stay in the safe zone. Push me along. <laughs> no. Yeah, get out. <laughs> no, no, no. Get away, get away. Out. I the one with the less, <laughs> least amount of points. Time's not back. Hey. You would like to push me. Of course, but uh. Maintain the highest mildness. That's right. Clip it and ship it. 
I did it on the second try. Now I, I think I understand the basic the basics of this game. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> I think I got an achievement on oh, that as well. What's that? Oh. Between an elf realm series. Uh, it completed domains together with other players 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't do a lot of co-op uh, in Genshin Impact. So, if you'd like, if you'd like guys to do some co-op with me in the future, and uh, you know what to do, follow me over at twitch.tv forward slash foreverest, and then uh, also, uh, uh, well, use uh, my idea, my ID to to be friends with me. Simple as that. But yeah, let's go back. High score again. Alright, where are the tea breaks? So you guys pushed me, huh? Seems like uh, you like. Yeah. Get out of my splashing zone. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Starting to shrink? Interesting. <laughs> I thought of this at the same time. Okay, well. Second win. <laughs> uh, if it's this game again, if it's this game again, can I get a triple? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. there in terms of mini games. I just need to get this one now. Good things come rolling in for the first time. I'll do this one, I suppose. But before that, I finally acquired the outfit for Zensha. 
So clay mouth it. The hero's valor ripples through his robes. His garments steeped in the spirit of the bamboo groves. <laughs> A new outfit for Zinsho. Amazing. Look at that. <sighs> so, um, with that out of the way, let's try the drift. I can, um, actually go back to my characters and give him uh, this uh, new attire. Where is he? There he is. So, as in shows out, fits fine robes woven from the high quality silk sold by the famed Promise Girl. This is the, uh, well, typical outfit. But this one is the new outfit. And it has lore as well. I'm going to switch what to this one. What do you think? One. Does Fontanian fashion suit me? Fontanian fashion from Shara Petit, I presume? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, formal wear prepared by the <sighs> famed Transdilt for Zinsha. The bamboo prints are refined. Bamboo prints are refined and the cut is most flattering. But Zinsho's favorite aspect of the outfit is its inner pockets to which a thin novel might be stuffed. The inner pockets. I mean this thing's here? On both sides? Where are the inner pockets? Alright, anyways. Let's read the, the lore related to Zinsho, because, uh, I mean, to his new outfit, because I'm sure that uh, there might be some interesting things to see here. Let's read. Bamboo Rain. Um, what? Meandering heroes gone missing? At this juncture, of all times? The troop leader's furious voice echoed backstage. And right when Thayun comes Jules having important guests from Fontaine over for an, evening an evening banquet? Come on, if we run our reputation to the ground here. <sighs> it's... it's... it's <sighs> It's going to be a disaster for our shows on both shores of, of the sea. The actor playing the wandering hero, head shrunken back in a panic, looked nothing like the part. The, uh, there's still time for it to the stage. I'll go look for it right now. Outside the best stage window, sitting leisurely in her, on a corner eve, a corner eve, was Zinsho. I see, I see. So it is a matter of saving face then that no one from our guild was asked to join the search. That complicates things. How then am I to tell them that you are here, Mr. Cat? Standing up, Zinsho peeped down the chimney and elf next to him, with a black cat in swashbuckling garbs stared at <laughs> stared up at him, eyes vigilant. To say nothing of his own chicanery and separating himself away from the banquet, making him ill-suited to meet Alvis directly. Someone known as the second young master of the famed Trans Guild, finding this meandering hero, meandering hero, <laughs> would make things terribly awkward for the opera troupe. I guess I'll just have to rescue you and take you back stage in secret, huh? Uh, I hope I don't get these clothes dirty. Or my prof is going to ask some pointed questions about where I've been again. Then show a rich Joshua thing to the chimney, but a cat ducked into a corner, rejecting his preferred helping hand. Spooked by the unfamiliar environment? Or are you just not fond of the banquet atmosphere? Either way, Mr. Cat, getting others in hot water is not quite what a cat with your title should be doing. He grinned wryly. 
no jetting this jetty to come along without getting his hands dirty, huh? <sighs> Uh, the night went as planned, and the troop took the stage without a hitch. Meandering hero twirled and flicked to the straight rhythm of the gong, seemingly endless applause breaking out. Amazing, most amazing, Lin Shi exclaimed while grabbing onto his older brother. What grabbed said brother's attention, however, was Lin Shi's new attire. His spontaneous style ensemble's well-tailed lines were adorned with elegant elegant bam bamboo patterns, clearly the work of a master, and yet when he had first received it, had a little lad not complained that it suited movement and made it, made it hard to conceal oneself, wearing it but once before folding it up and putting it back on the shelf. On the shelf? Yeah, on the shelf. Uh, where was this sudden love for it coming from? As if reading the doubt written on his prophet's face, Zint Shou smiled softly, saying, I came across this line while reading last night. One should make guests feel at home. Changing to these clothes a welcome guest from Fontaine is a form of courtesy too, is it not? The doubt knit into the elder brother's brows dissipated, and he looked Zint Shou up and down once more. His clothes were quite clean, so he certainly didn't seem to have snuck out like he had last year. Perhaps his kid brother really had matured a little this year. He thought with some relief. Still, there was a faint smell of ash in the air. Where was that coming from exactly? No need to trouble yourselves. I'll change by myself. When the banquet was over, was over and the servants were sent away, Zin Shou would take his coat off, revealing his dust and dirt stained inner garments. <sighs> Phew, that was a close one. Good thing this was in the cabinet. There was no way I was fooling my brother otherwise. Perhaps his next novel could be about a chival chivalrous thief from Fontaine, huh? Hmm, let's start with this. All know the common wisdom that the, the masked dress masks makes. Wait. All know the common wisdom that the masked dress makes a different disguise, but none realized that celebrity was the cloak of this chivalrous thief. Phantom thief? But, um, okay, so, because he wanted to not have any doubts for coming from his older brother that he had to put his, this new garment for the sole occasion of the banquet and the representation of the meandering hero in the troupe. Okay. So, this is the new outfit, yeah. How do you like it, Zen Show? Most pleasant. Well, <sighs> didn't you say that it was uh, too? I mean, what did he say again? It was. Uh, yeah. The restricted movement and made it harder to conceal oneself. Uh, but you like it now. Yes, I do. Well, glad to see to hear you say it. All right. Well, that is out of the way. So I think now I'll do the last mini game that is uh, acquired. I'll do this one. Match. Yeah, I know. I know. Match. My whip, my movements are restricted. All right, let's see. Cancel one another by actually uh, doing this. Alright, 
fucking hell. What the hell is this? number of secrets held <laughs> yeah I suppose that um, I'm the f I'm the best <laughs> done so so I did everything regarding that for now this is be this will be available tomorrow as of me recording this video. And, uh, all the rest, I suppose, is uh, related to the story or the plots.